Hey there, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, jumping on live with me, or if you weren't able to get on live, thanks for um, watching the replay. All right, so, um, hi Jan, thanks for jumping on. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm coming at you tonight because I wanted to share um, some information about a format called Pio. And I wanted to give a little bit of information about it to see if maybe if this is something that might be for you. You know, maybe there's something uh, with this workout that can maybe help you out like it's helped me. All right, so to give you a little back history um, before I jump into this is, first of all, my name is Shelly Levi, and I have been in the fitness industry now for 21 years. Yep. I'm getting old here. <laughs> and so with that said, I have um, I've come across a ton of formats over the course of the 21 years. And um, and I love, you know, I love exposing myself to uh, so many variety of workouts because I know there's a lot of different ways you can work out to stay healthy and fit. And, um, and I want to be able to share some of that experience and knowledge with some of you guys out there to see if there is something I might be able to share with you that maybe you might enjoy. And when you like something that you're in your workouts, you tend to stick with it and you tend to be consistent with it and do it if you enjoy it. So a lot of the times it's trying to find a style that you, um, you, you enjoy. And, um, so it's been fun over the course of these 21 years to experiment with so many different things that have been, um, that have come out here. Um, but what has happened though is it was in 2008, um, I experienced an issue with my back and it was right about the time CrossFit was coming out. So I was tapping into this big, huge CrossFit phase and, um, and which involves a little bit more power lifting and it involves a lot more of plyometrics and the intensity level is a lot higher. And with that said, um, my back, I had this big, huge flare on my back to the point where I was having sciatic nerve pain go all the way down my left leg down into my foot. It was so incredibly painful. I think I was popping ibuprofen every four hours and alternating that with a leave just to try and alleviate some of the pain. And it was worse when I was laying down. So thank goodness I had a job where I was active and standing the majority of the time. But the pain was so debilitating. And then what we found out is when we went in and I had some x-rays done and some and an MRI on my spine, we found that I have a, an extra vertebrae and it's actually a deformed vertebrae, which shifts out of place fairly easy. And the shocking part about this is um, we didn't find this until I was 40 years old, this you know deformity in my spine. So obviously I was born with it and it's been with me in my entire life. Fortunately, my activities have been able to keep it at bay because I kept my core nice and strong. However, when I had shifted and changed some of the workouts I was doing, it put so much pounding and pressure and compression to my spine, and when it shifted, it, it caused some of the discs to bulge and really hit that, that sciatic nerve. So after we found that out in 2008, I literally had to change the way I worked out. There was no longer any bars I was putting on my back, so no squats on my back. You know, back if I do a squat, it has to be a front squat or dumbbell squats. Um, no pressing of the bar over the head, so um, I have to keep light, lighter weights for any pressing over the head because that still compresses the spine. No extreme jumping. Um, or high impact, I have to be very, very cautious with some of that. So my running, um, it had to be shortened up. I could only do a little bit of running and I had to really rethink how I worked out. And that was struggle. That was frustrating for me to know that I had to change the way I worked out in order to be able to accommodate this back issue I had. And so with that said too, 
there was, um, I was also recommended to do some yoga. And I was doing some yoga. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for jumping on. Um, I was recommended to do some yoga. And the reason for that was to help to loosen up my glutes and to keep my hamstrings loose. Again, to keep that from compressing the spine because those muscles attach right up in that pelvic region. And if those are tight, the spine will compress. And so I had to, you know, start to get more workouts in that revolved around stretching and flexibility and range of motion, especially in the legs and the hip area. So again, yoga is what I was recommended. I did go into yoga. I learned a lot about yoga. Unfortunately, at the time I was in doing yoga, um, let's just say I'm probably not really the greatest yogi out there. <laughs> Um, and maybe I, because I just didn't have the patience for it. Um, but that's about the time three years ago when I was working on this, that this pio format came out and the pio format, it came out in a home workout program. And so I thought, you know what, you know, I'm going to give this a try. And the creator, Shalene Johnson, when she talked about why she created this program, you know, um, she created that she herself was a person who loved high intensity workouts. I mean, she rocked kickboxing workouts and um, loved, you know, all that high energy, high intensity stuff. But what she found herself happening is herself. She was getting injured. She found out she was constantly getting injured. So she herself needed to find something to help um, keep her body aligned and restored so to prevent some of those things from happening. And then of course, she tried yoga too and didn't do as well with yoga as well herself. So she herself tried to figure out how she could create and take some of those elements of yoga and Pilates and the core and that strengthening and bring it into a workout that can tap into those areas, but even um, take it to a next level. So it wasn't just the yoga Pilates. And when put, people look at that name Pio, they think, you know, just yoga and Pilates. You guys, it is so far from yoga Pilates, it's not even funny. Um, it has those inspiration, you know, of those formats to it, but it's completely different than any of those formats. And so this is what I wanted to share with you. I wanted to share with you some of the things because in my 21 years of teaching, there is nothing out there like Pio that hits all the elements of fitness that you need in your routine. And I'm going to go through that right now. So first of all, you need strength training. You need to be doing strength training. You need to be doing that a couple days a week. Pio is body weight strength training. Let me repeat that. It's body weight strength training. We work all planes of motion, which means that this format is very functional, you know, to be able to accommodate some of the daily activities that you do in your, you know, in your, in your daily life. So you've got the body weight strength training that's taking place here. The next element to it, core. You were talking about a good 55 minute workout that pretty much everything we're doing is working the core. So if you're someone that's weak in the core, when I'm talking core, I'm not just talking about the abdominal area, I'm also talking about the back. And 80% of our population suffers from back issues. You know, so if that is you, then you might want to consider something like this because for that 55 minutes of pile live that I teach, almost every move we're doing is firing that core and strengthening that core. So that is element number two that you're going to see in this workout. Number three, cardio. Yes, you're going to get a cardio workout from this. We start off with a warm up. Then when we go into what's called a heat building phase where we're getting the muscles warmed up and prepared to work harder. Then we go into what I call gear number three. That's when we hit the lower body and we get those legs firing even more. Then we go into gear number four 
And that's where we hit into the full body. Now we're getting the upper body going and that's where you're gonna see some more push-ups and diving triceps and you're gonna see some more leg work in there. And then we hit five. We're like right up, switching the gear into level five. And that's when we go into power. This is where the energy picks up, the music picks up, the intensity picks up. And by the time we're done with all those segments, which is about halfway through the workout, 30 minutes, no break, your heart rate's up there. Like we need a break at that 30 minute mark. We're needing to stop, we're needing to grab a drink of water, we're needing to towel off because we are sweating already by that point, dripping sweating. <laughs> so then we get a nice break here and then we go into element number four. Element number four, we go into flow. Now we're into the flexibility, the range of motion. We're working on lengthening the muscles. We're working on alignment. You know, while the music slows down into this segment, that doesn't mean it gets easier during this segment because you're working harder to really strength or lengthen out those muscles and really get into some of those tight areas. And that can be challenging. It can be really tough and challenging to do that. And our flow segment is probably about a good solid 15 minutes um, that we're doing. And then we finish up with a core segment, core and more that we're going into. And um, that's just a little added element at the end that taps into a little bit more of the core area specifically and maybe might get more into the hips, stability, um, butt, glutes, you name it. We, we tap into it on that core segment. So you're getting all of this, all of this in one workout, in one workout. And the best part of it all, there is no jumping. That's right, you heard me, no jumping. There's an option in the three minute power segment on a couple moves to jump if you want to, but otherwise, 55 minutes, body weight training, core, cardio, flexibility, range of motion, alignment, you're getting all these things in one workout with no jumping. Who now says you need this workout? This workout needs to be in your life. <laughs> I'm getting old here. Like I said, I've been teaching 21 years here. You know, the less impact that I can keep, I want my knees around for a while longer. I need my hips a while longer. There's a lot of things that I need a while longer. And if I can tap into all those elements without having to jump and walk out drenched, and feel just amazing after that workout and feel restored instead of feeling like I'm got beat, like the crap beat out of me. Not that that's a bad thing, but sometimes it's nice walking out feeling like, wow, that was an amazing workout. I'm drenched, I'm dripping sweat, and I didn't get beat up, like feel like I physically got the crap beat out of me um, in order to do it. So. That is something, or this is why that I have kind of fallen in love with this workout and why I teach it two to three times a week and why the numbers are building as more and more people are getting exposed to this and seeing how awesome this workout is. You know, we're starting to see more and more people jump into some of these classes. And I'm not saying this needs to replace what you're doing. What I'm recommending is that you add this in. Try to bring Pio into your workout, you know, one couple, one, two days a week, even bringing it in a couple days a week can give you some amazing benefits. All right, so how do you get this into your life right now? I'm gonna give you a few options here. First of all, I can send you a free pass. I can send you a free pass. You can come see me at Mountainside Fitness in Desert Ridge, and you can come work out to me for free with that pass and give it a try yourself. So that's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it is um, you can jump into the Phoenix Pio Nation Facebook group. I'm gonna repeat that, Phoenix Pio Nation Facebook group. Request to join that. We've got some videos in there, setting in there for you to be able to try out and be able to you know, do this right from your home. You can be able to work out and you know tap into some of the things that I just shared with you and do it right from the comfort of your own home. 
Another way you can um, do this workout, tap into this, is now that it's finally cooling off here in Arizona, I am gonna be hosting a couple Pio and Pour events at my house. So what is that? That is gonna be a Pio workout followed by a little wine tasting. <laughs> so be looking for that, be looking for that because that's gonna be adding some of those events to the schedule here and um, opening up my home to some of you guys out there who are in the area. So be watching for the Pio and Pour um, and to come and try it out that way as well. If none of those options work out for you, please comment before because I might be, comment below because I might be able to help you out in some other ways to be able to get this workout in your hands. All right, so thank you so much for jumping on. Uh, if you know of someone who has back issues or who could use some more um, strength training in their life or, or core training, oh yeah, Karen, Pio and Pour, you know I've got that one covered. <laughs> so, but if you know of someone who, you know, could really use something in, maybe they're struggling, maybe they haven't been able to do um, their regular workouts due to an injury or, um, or some other physical limitation, you know, this could be something that they could do. So please share this video with them and see if this might be able to help them um, maybe restore their body and uh, align their body and still be able to give them, you know, um, the workout and, um, and keep them active and keep them strong. Um, you know, yeah. So again, thanks for jumping on tonight and for watching and, um, yeah, share the love out there and yeah. I hope you to see you in the Phoenix Pio Nation group, and if not, maybe I'll see you live in the class. All right, have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye.